What's going on everyone? Alto back again with another video and I'm returning back to my how I would fix these units series. I did this for Golden Dawn you know and today we're going to be looking at Captain Fagolion of the Crimson Lions. Now to be clear I'm talking about the current unit in the game. I'm not talking about when he gets Salamander since he's probably going to have a new unit version where he has Salamander since we're not that far away from that part. I mean we're just about to get Sora Marielna so... We're pretty close to Fuegoleon coming back and getting Salamanders, hashtag spoilers, but like, I'm, if you're a fan of Black Clover, how do you not know this already? But yeah, let's, so, yes, this is how to fix Captain Fuegoleon. Captain of the Crimson Lions here, it's Fuegoleon that we're looking at today, and it, it kinda hurts me to say this, but he's probably one of the worst DPS in the game because, well, his attack is good, it's just the way his kit works and his pitiful base speed, he gets stomped pretty hard, like, you are asking to lose if you use Fuegoleon in your team, what, like, maybe in PvE he's fine, but, like, in PvP, he's terrible, like, it's, it's not even a competition. Lich and Raya destroy him, which, I guess, kind of fits what happened to him in the anime, but, but, but besides that, <laughs> Red also destroys him, Noel destroys him, Julius destroy him, and he's blue! Even more blue DPS that just recently came out, like Kahono, still destroys Fuegoleon, and it's really sad. The Crimson Lion Captain just never got a chance to shine, considering how amazing his animations are. And in JP, he actually had his own separate banner, where you had a raid up to pull him, with Yami having his own banner like it was in Global. So... It really sucks he never got a chance to sign. Honestly, if it was up to me and I was developing the game, I would have done a preseason where the meta would have been, you know, just the captains, you know, before we had season one, introducing Red Asta and Blue Yami and all that, because I feel like starting with season one right away and not having a preseason, a lot of units like Fuegoleon never got a chance to shine because, well, Red Austin just came to delete them. Now, yeah, the meta probably would have been dominated by Red Yami, but Fuegoleon at least would have had a chance to shine with blue heavy teams, you know, trying to, like, um, run PvP. He would have easily destroyed them, especially if you also pulled Nozel, because that combo attack can really, really help Fuegoleon. But enough of that, let's go over his kit to see why Fuegoleon kind of just can't measure up to other units, even units that speed tied him, why he can't measure up. Let's go over his ultimate skill. Alright, this ultimate is freaking impossible to say, I'm gonna, without butchering it, man. Leo ruining it, which is a single target ability, and if an enemy is taking co continuous damage, it grants a 40% damage increase, and it inflicts burn on an enemy for two turns. Also, when it's level 5 maxed out skill, it increases the damage by 20%. So, this could be a really good single target nuker, but that's already where the problem lies with Fuegoleon. This ability is going to do a lot of damage, especially if they're taking, like, you know, continuous damage. But the issue here is, like, Fuegoleon, like, he needs someone else to, like, pers- do that continuous damage so if you have no zell like this this is gonna one shot no matter what especially maxed out it will one shot but why would you put in the resources for Fuegoleon and when you have to use Nozelle as well to get the full damage of this ability especially that saying you're gonna land it since considering that Fuegoleon has very low speed compared to other nukers that could do and have better ultimates. Let's look at Julius' ultimate. He gets an extra turn when he does his ultimate if he kills the opponent or he will stun them. That's already really good even if you don't kill him because the stun is really good. Red Asta gets an extra turn as well if, and if he kills it at, then even better. And plus Red Asta does bonus damage to boss. Wait, going on the ultimate, all it does is just that damage, and you need to have a continuous damage, you know, poison or burn in order to get the maximum amount of damage. And at that point, you're probably gonna lose because either their DPS is gonna just out outpace Wait Goleon, 
Why even put the resources? You're gonna have to get this ability up to level 5 to get the maximum damage you can to be a one-shot nuker. And you have to put the resources into Foygoleon and Nozel unless you want to try to use someone else or maybe get lucky off, I don't know, Radies is like poison chance. But to really use Foygoleon, you need to like do all this stuff and at that point you might as well put the resources on better characters like Julius, Red Asta, Noel, etc. Even Blue Yami, for instance, because his ultimate silences. So, let's go over how to fix this ultimate. First of all, this needs to be an AoE ability. It being a single target kind of hurts Foy Goldion. Second of all, we're going to scale back the damage a little bit just to balance this out. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to get rid of the increased damage if it's continuously, you know, taking damage, you know, like burn or poison. We're going to change that to burn all enemies for two turns. This way, it really helps play Galleon to be like this kind of, you know, damage over time unit. Because I think that's what he really was going for and benefiting off damage over time. The reason why we also did this chain is to also benefit the other parts of his kit, which we'll go over later. The other thing we're changing is that level 5, we're going to change that to increase damage dealt by 20% at level 3. That way you don't need to put all your resources into Fue Goldion because getting level 5 skill is pretty difficult right now. And this way Fue Goldion will be a bit more usable and people will be more inclined to use him because they don't have to go all in with him. They still can have leftover resources and if he's doing well then they can go all in on him. Now remember how we got rid of that continuous damage buff? Well, this is why we got rid of it because now we're going to change this. If Fue Goldion attacks a unit that already is burn or poison continuous damage you know with this change fly going will become the ultimate blue killer mono blue meta killer with this one change what we're gonna do he's gonna inflict hp recovery block to all enemies and we're gonna have the burn right there so charming can't just get rid of like foigolion's most devastating blow and you know that kind of thing so, Charm will still get rid of the burn, but they will be unable to heal from the damage Fue Goleon did. Originally, I was just going to give him an extra turn if he hit someone with the burn, but I think this is a lot better. Especially considering Fue Goleon's a green unit, so him having this would be a perfect counter to mono blue teams, you know, running Charmy and just taking teams that rely so much on healing and stuff. This will make Fue Goleon a great option just for pvp to help block that in my opinion its ultimate ability is now really good we scale back the damage because now it inflicts hp recovery block and the damage increases at level three not to mention it's gonna inflict burn on all the enemies so this is the ultimate like you know counter to healing and just <laughs> trying to be tanking away this is really good now with the ultimate done we can move on to the second skill so his second skill is flame creation magic onslaught of the flame lion and what this does 50 percent chance to inflict burn on an enemy dealing consecutive oh my gosh how many times i gonna say consecutive damage in this video for two turns and with the skill page attack after granted increased pen level two pretty good with the skill page but um i say we can still change it around to make it a bit better so the change we're adding to it is actually the change we got rid of the ultimate. So if the target's already inflicted with burn or continuous damage, increase the damage of this ability by 30%. This would be a great skill too to clear up, you know, if they did not remove the burn since the burn last two turns. And with the skill page would make Foygoli an excellent AoE damage over time attacker because after they take a bit of damage over time, they are likely going to die from this if they did not heal or, well, we kind of negated their healing. So yeah, this will make Foygoli able to just pretty much clear house and just become a really good nuker anti-heal to destroy mono blue teams that try to like tank away an arena. Moving on to his standard attack, his standard attack is Ray of Extinction. This, um, pretty much, if an enemy is taking continuous damage, attack after granting 30% damage increase. So, not bad, but I think we can make it a lot better, to be honest. So, I'm changing this to, if you attack an enemy with continuous damage, you will grant yourself a speed increase of level 2. This is to help way Goleon become faster, and so he doesn't get speed blitz, so you have the option. After you burn an enemy, do you want to use your standard attack to grant yourself a speed increase or do you want to try to finish them off with your AoE ability? This is going to remain a single target because, um, well, this is going to be the only one that, like, you know, benefits just 
attacking one target of their burn because you're granted yourself a self increased speed buff. But now that we fixed Fuegoleon's skills to make them a lot better, let's look at his passive real quick. So his LR passive is grant yourself 3.5 increased damage that when attacking an enemy that may be affected by pen plus 5 and burn. So she's just gonna grant himself a small increase of damage. This passive kind of sucks, so we're gonna change this up completely. So we're changing also the name of his passive to be Heart of the Crimson Lion, because I think that fits him. And when Fuegoleon falls below 50% HP, grants immortality for one turn, basically Lich's passive. Now the reason why it's 50% is because that way you can bait out this and you can focus your damage on other people. This is to kind of balance out so you don't have to focus all your attackers on Fuegoleon. You can focus on the healer, whatever, as on the enemy team. Because Fuegoleon is going to be doing a lot of AoE damage. He's going to negate heals and he's going to do damage over time. So we're going to have his passive kick in really quickly. That way you could just bait it and then you can finish him off once that runs out. His dupe passive, we don't really need to touch. It's when using skill 2, inflict 1 instance of burn for 2 turns. So basically it makes it 100%, that's why I didn't change skill 2 to be 100%. I could change skill 2 to be 100% burn just standard and then change his new pass to be, I don't know, more damage increase or whatever, but I think it's fine. We can have this, you know, like going for dupes on Fuego, someone on an unfeature. I, I say this is a bit rewarding, it doesn't make or break him whatsoever. The last thing to really go at is his base stats, so mostly his speed, his space speed is 103, like most DPS, but we're gonna change that and buff that up to a nice 104, that way he can outspeed Yami, red one specifically, and blue Yami. This way Fuegoleon could be a better DPS, and he also can outspeed Raya and Lich. So that way, Fuegoleon can actually be a viable DPS unit. Like, yeah, maybe Ryan Lich have a better AoE combo, but hey, Fuegoleon has anti-heal and has higher speed, so which one would you rather pick? I think this will make Fuegoleon better, and also to just make him a good green attacker that you have a chance to pick with all his AoE and the ability. This will really help Fuegoleon out. Yes, it's still slower than Red Asta, Max Doob, Noel, and Julius, but we're trying to make Fuegoleon better and viable, not make him the most broken unit ever, otherwise I would've just gave him like burn on everything. <laughs> But yeah, with all those changes made to play Goleon, he should become a really good unit, an AoE attacker, and actually viable. So yeah, I think that's a good wrap on Fuei Goleon. Um, the next one I'm probably gonna do is maybe Yami or Jack. I still gotta think about it, but I gotta work on my Dark Triad um, Xenon video still. So yeah, that's coming next before we tackle back on how to fix these units. So if you agree with any of the changes I listed for Fuegoleon to make him much better, let me know down in the comments below. And if you think like I could have done something better or how you would personally fix it, let me know down below in the comments section. Oh, and to be honest, we all know his Salamander version is probably going to be this, but more broken and more burn heavy and anti-heal likely. <laughs> so yeah, once again, this video might co become out of date within a few months because the better units around the corner, just like how I know Spirit Dive Uno you know, is going to be a much better version than Golden Dawn Uno you know, because this game hates me and y'all hate me too. <laughs> but for real, let me know as well down below in the comments if you want me to tackle a specific unit currently in the game or if you have ideas what I can do for like how these units will work after I do my Dark Triad of course. So yeah, expect Xenon and then after that expect another how to fix units, then after that I will wrap things up with the Dark Triad by doing my favorite character in all of Black Clover, Vonica. If you look forward to any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video, please help the channel grow so maybe one day I can do more than just this. I don't know what I'm going with this, but for real, have a wonderful day y'all. Until then, I'm Alto, y'all are awesome. And I am not going to be joining the Crimson Lion, sadly. I'm an ego, brother. Anyway, peace out. Bye, guys.